Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian Mom Cooking. So I'm going to show you all how to eat, make this easy and delicious vegetable biryani and this is a uh, very apt for lunchbox recipes as well and uh, I've already pre-soaked uh, basmati rice so I've taken about one glass of basmati rice and uh, washed it uh, like three to four times and soaked them in plenty of water. Now in a, uh, in a broad vessel I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil uh, and two tablespoons of ghee. So let them get uh, heated up and to this I'm going to add the whole garam masalas starting off with three to four cloves and uh, one green cardamom and uh, two like half an inch of cinnamon and then uh, half bay leaves and let they cook for about uh, and uh, half spoon of cumin seeds and let they release their aroma and cook for about 2 minutes on medium flame so keep on stirring for 2 minutes until they release their aroma and uh, to this I am going to add one big size onion that are uh, finely chopped so saute it for a minute and add a little bit of salt and uh, cook this onion for about 3 to 5 minutes with the lid closed on medium flame so let they become softened. So it's been 3 minutes now the onions are softer. And now at this stage I'm going to add about 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. So this one is a homemade ginger garlic paste which gives you a lot of flavor and aroma to the entire biryani. So stir it a little bit and close the lid and again cook for about 3 minutes until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste goes off. So it just takes about 3 minutes, close the lid and after 3 minutes it's done. Now it's time for me to add in one big size on, uh, tomato that are finely chopped. So I've just chopped them into julienne's. So again give it a stir and cook this for about 3 to 5 minutes or until the tomatoes are squishy and softer. So close the lid and cook for 3 minutes on medium flame and meanwhile I'm going to take a bunch of uh, coriander leaves and a handful of mint leaves and I'm going to blend it in a blender into a coarse paste like this with little bit of water and then keep it aside and it's been three minutes and uh, we can open the lid and now you can see the uh, tomatoes are softened now it's time to add in all the powder masala starting off with 1 tablespoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. It gives you a lot of flavor and color to the entire biryani and half spoon of turmeric powder, 1 spoon of coriander powder, 1 spoon of uh, half spoon of pepper powder and 1 spoon of cumin powder and then half spoon of plain red chilli powder for a little uh, hotness and stir it on medium flame. Make sure you do not burn the mixture and now at this stage I'm going to add about a small cup of chopped carrots and a small cup of chopped beans at this stage you can very well add as many vegetables you want. So they are finely chopped so it just takes about 5 to 7 minutes to cook. So cook this on medium flame again with the lid closed for about 5 to 7 minutes or until the carrots are cooked up to 75 to 80 percent. So I'm just going to close the lid and cook it on medium flame for about 7 minutes. So you can very well see um, by pressing the carrots it little soften so it means that it is 75% cooked. And now at this stage I am going to add in the blended coriander leaves and mint leaves and stir it little. Make sure to uh, add just a handful of coriander leaves, a handful of mint leaves because uh, otherwise the biryani turns into a green color 
So the reason why I'm blending this coriander and mint leaves is uh, kids do not love the leaves of coriander or mint in the biryani. So I just blend it to a coarse, a coarse paste like this so that it will, will it will be well blended with the biryani. So now it's time to add in the water. So my ratio is like one uh, glass of rice is, uh, is equal to two glasses of water. So I've taken one glass of basmati rice. So to that I'm going to add two glasses of water and bring it to boil. Before bringing it to boil, add in the required salt and check for seasoning. If you want to add any spiciness, you can very well add it at this stage. Stir it. And I'm just going to take a taste test here and uh, closing the lid, let them uh, boil. So after reaching the boiling level, you can add in the basmati rice. So reduce the flame to medium, add in the basmati rice. So I've already soaked one cup of uh, like one glass of basmati rice here. So stir it really well so that the vegetables get well mixed with the rice. And that's it. Close the lid and cook it for about 5 to 10 minutes or until the rice is well cooked. So after reaching its boiling stage, you can close the lid and cook for 10 minutes. Uh, in between, you can stir it in 5 minutes. So that is all. This is how I make vegetable biryani. Very easy to make at home. You can add as many vegetables you want. So after 10 minutes, you could see the biryani is ready. So, and this recipe is my son's favorite recipe. You can uh, uh, compens I mean, you can uh, have it with onion raita. So I pack this for my son's son's lunch box. So please do try this recipe at home and let me know in the comment section and uh, please send me the pic of uh, your recipe uh, tried recipe. Uh, to my mail which is given in the description box I'm, I'll be uh, feeling very happy if you send me the pictures and uh, I'll be back with many many recipes so please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel I will all catch you in my next video until then stay happy bye bye love you all so much